We hit the streets of Tallahassee, Florida to find the answer to the questions we ask ourselves every year on February 14th. Are corporations taking advantage of consumers on Valentine's Day? Chocolate or jewelry? And why am I so lonely? We asked the citizens in the heart of the city if they thought it was all just one big scam. And the answer may surprise you. Uh, say what you gotta say, hurry up. Stephen right? Curry. Okay, Curry. okay. okay. Go. you gotta go, you gotta go. What do you think about Valentine's Day? I think it's, you know, an opportunity, an opportunity to uh, tell somebody you love them. I don't really care, honestly. Yeah. I think it should be celebrated amongst boy and girl, but there are relationships that are girl and girl and boy and boy, and but okay. I have nothing against yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. That's okay if you want to do that. That's your reality, not mine. Uh, I feel like it's a, a regular holiday, you know, if you have your significant other and that's how you like to celebrate it, I guess, okay, it's all right. Do you think it's a scam? Well, it's not a scam because you should show people that you love them every day, not just on Valentine's Day. Exactly. You think it's a scam, though? Um, yeah, yeah. What do you think about uh, Valentine's Day? Uh, it's great. You, you don't think it's a scam? Yeah, probably. Are you single? Oh, yeah. No, I have a boyfriend. Are you single? Uh, yeah. So, Are you single? Uh, yeah. Okay, so is that so, the main basis of why it's a scam? Yeah, I'm single, but I plan to buy a box of chocolates for every girl that I miss out on. You feel me? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, they could eat the whole chocolate. They so could, I think going? they should swallow it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What do you usually do for Valentine's Day, like, when you're not single? Probably buy something nice for the person I'm dating. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like chocolates or a card or whatever? Yeah, jewelry. Maybe. Jewelry, okay. Yeah. And you're like, and as soon as the first girl did it, you know all the other yeah. girls are like, that oh, she's not having a fucking diamond, and I'm not having that a diamond. Bitch. <laughs> that bitch. fucking bitch. It's probably like 32 chocolates in each box. 0.50 cent times 32 equals probably 32 bits times 50 cent equals, fuck it, we just gonna estimate. Yeah. $12.50, man. So that's like per a box girl. of chocolates per girl. Yeah, 50 12, cent 12 per bucks. girl. And that's like guaranteed. That's yes. guaranteed access. What does she like? Does she like what? Is, I mean, if I if I like her, then I probably like. Then you know, you like know I what knew what she doing. like, and then yeah, I would yeah. construct something, and then I'll write like a poem that like had something to do with what she liked. Sure. And just you know, what I'm saying like yeah. do something special, make sure I paid attention to her when she talked to me. Who is allergic to chocolate out here besides a dog? Yeah, exactly. So what if what if the girl was like a best friend that she had a best friend and she wanted me she wanted me to be a part of her best friend life and them too. Yeah. That's a menage a trois, bro. Okay, you're getting uh, kind of ahead of us. Uh oh. What? <laughs> what if she doesn't like chocolate? What if she don't like her? chocolate? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ice cream or donuts, bro? Which one? Okay, sure. Have you been with a girlfriend during Valentine's Yeah, Day? yeah, I've been with yeah. a girlfriend. What, what'd you end up doing with her? Well, we went to the movies and then got pizza and ate pizza in the park. Okay. And, and just it, watched it out airplanes well? flying. Yeah, it worked out well. I mean, like, yeah, she like liked you, it. Like you, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> what? No. Like, no. Okay. So not so well. I don't know how many girls on campus have sex on the first date. Probably but a lot though, right? Would you say that your your main intention is like sex? At the end of the day, maybe, I guess so. Yeah. It depends, yeah, typically. What makes what makes her want to be with you? Like what would you say for oh, Valentine's Day? I got swag, I got juice. Yeah. <laughs> you still want to be with me anyway. You show her like the, your wallet and it's like full of like cash? Right. Is that it? Nah, nah. No. Nah, I don't want no girl that won't cash. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. That's a really good point. I want a girl that won't be for me. Why is it this day? It's a good point, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know either. You don't, you Every know. day should be like this. Valentine's Day is going to be lasting until about the 26th of this month. Oh, I thought it was only a day. Yeah, you know you got to clean up behind that, man. People going to be throwing red and pink all over the ground. That's like 12 days of cleanup. Yeah. Oh, by, by the end of the month, all that shit should be picked up by now. As it started to rain, we walked into the nearest coffee shop, and that's when I saw her. Maybe this Valentine's Day wouldn't be so bad after all. When we did start talking about Valentine's Day, all she tried to do was impress me by bringing up past relationships. I was texting him and I was like, I think it's time for you to nut up or shut up. And he looks at me and he says, I want you to hit me as hard as you can. But I tried not to be bothered and try to show how cool I was by insulting her. First date, he's in your house and you're making him spaghetti? Yeah. Okay, maybe the issue's you. I didn't know how long I could keep it up. So when the chance rose, I made my move. <laughs> What's your number? <laughs> 
do you, do you need my phone number? Yeah. All right. Just for yeah. like video stuff. Go ahead. All right. It was a pretty clear success and no one can really argue that point. I love the balloons, I love it all. And every year for five years, I've had a fondue party. Luckily, I overheard her discreetly talking about a fondue party she was having the next day. Which is what I'm doing this oh, year. Okay, so we're invited. At that moment, I knew I had to be at that party and I had a pretty good feeling she was gonna say yes. Uh, no. <laughs> As I stalled by pretending to be interested in her friends and what they have to say, Hey, who's this girl, and why is she saying that we're dead? I'm like, oh, fuck. All I could think about was that party and why I got rejected. Is there something wrong with me? A lot of people here, do you want to, like, lower your voice a little bit? Then I remembered something Jeff had said earlier. There's an open mic night at Calvin's. Okay. Uh, Thursday. I'll be singing Better Love songs, so okay. it'll be great. This could be the last chance I have to get into that party. If I surprise Jeff during the open mic event, Maybe he'd feel so bad about what happened earlier and allow me to tag along to the party anyways. At that point, Jeff would have really no choice but to bring me. After RSVPing to the open mic event, it seemed like there was no way I was going to miss this party. I arrived just in time and the place was packed. It seemed like every performer in the area had decided to come out. All by Jeff, that is. I started to worry. He was scheduled to play first and he was nowhere in sight. But just before we were about to leave, he walks in. What a diva. I gotta hand it to him though, the guy could play. I asked him outside after his performance to talk business. It was getting late and I didn't want to miss the party. Sorry dude, it kinda already ended like an hour ago. We missed it. Yeah. For the past couple days, nothing has seemed to be going my way. Even though I tried everything I could to make it work, there's something wrong with me. Then I remembered something a new friend had told me just the day before. It's okay to be rejected. That doesn't mean that it's something wrong with you. It's something wrong with the compatibility. There's nothing wrong with you. He was right. There's nothing wrong with me. Some things are just not meant to be. Only when I stopped worrying about rejection and started living my life did I really start to enjoy myself. And you know what? I think I'm going to be just fine. Oh, yeah. you win. I'm talking about, I'm talking about like, uh, I'm talking about like time travel. Like, I, I what, what do you have to give? Oh, I got a lot. I got a heart, a good heart. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I got me. Do you have anything you want to promote? Uh, Twitter or SoundCloud? Let's go, Matt.